the diseases of the circulatory system we will talk about atherosclerosis and hypertension hypertension is a medical term hyper mean high or increase tension mean pressure so hypertension is a high blood pressure what happened in high blood pressure and the causes 95 percent uh, are due to unknown cause which is called unknown etiology but there is a five percent of causes we will talk about it uh, what happened in uh, hypertension if the lumen this is the normal lumen if the lumen is narrowed so this is cause a high blood pressure and this is happened like in, in this uh, figure this is a plague what is a plague a plague it is a deposit of fat and uh, also uh, cholesterol so it is called a plague formation this is when happened happened if there is damage to the endothelium of the arteries okay so this is what happened and narrowing uh, for the lumen also the atherosclerosis increase the risk of heart attack or stroke other causes of hypertension are stress poor diet maybe genetic factor or obesity and smoking other diseases like kidney disease or diabetes or other causes the hypertension can be easily treated in the if it is happen, uh, discovered in the beginning by the diet healthy diet and exercise if not respond we will start with drugs let's talk about uh, blood pressure blood pressure is a hydrostatic force exerted against the wall of the blood vessels so this is the definition of blood pressure the blood cause a pressure on the wall of the blood vessel and this is called a hydrostatic pressure this is has a force which is exerted against the wall of the blood vessels also blood pressure drives blood from the heart to the capillary beds blood pressure much greater in arteries than in veins and is greater during systole the results from combination of cardiac output and peripheral resistance this is an equation also uh, result in blood pressure blood pressure measured by sphygmomanometer which is a device with a stethoscope to measure the blood pressure blood pressure when the heart relaxes between beats called diastole the arterial pressure drops to up to about 80 millimeter mercury this is called diastolic pressure the pressure does not drop to zero because the arterial wall are elastic and squeeze the blood the 80 millimeter mercury diastolic pressure keep blood flowing between beats blood pressure when the ventricle contract call it systole the pressure in the arteries leaving the heart rises up to 
120 millimeter of mercury this is called systolic pressure so during relaxation of the uh, heart this is called diastolic pressure and during contraction of the ventricles this is called systolic pressure what is the normal value 120 over 80 millimeter mercury but keep in your mind the the number above is the systolic pressure and the number below is diastolic pressure this number is not fixed example if a patient have 110 not 120 not 110 so it is not abnormal it is normal and blood pressure 130 also it is greater than 120 the systolic it is also normal why because there is a range this is the average the range of the blood pressure so systolic blood pressure during contraction phase of the heart of the ventricles the normal value this is what I talk about it it is the range from 90 to 139 millimeter mercury so this is the systolic below 90 if the systolic below 90 is called hypotension hypo mean below or uh, low pressure and if the systolic pressure is more than 140 this is abnormal and called hypertension the diastolic pressure the pressure during the relaxation phase of the ventricles or of the heart also it causes pressure on the arteries and the blood vessels this is called diastolic pressure also it is not fixed it is the range from 60 to 89 millimeter mercury so if we measure blood pressure the diastolic below 60 this is mean hypotension and if it is above uh, 89 I mean 90 and above this is called hypertension so the patient have hypertension if measured blood pressure the systolic 140 and above and diastolic 90 and above each of them or both of them measured this the patient has hypertension Ninety-five percent has unknown etiology. Uh, the damage of the endothelium initiate formation, and the atherosclerosis cause heart attack or stroke. Also, there is other causes, as we mentioned before. This is for remembering, refreshing your memory. Stress, poor diet, genetics, drugs, obesity smoking diabetes and other disease like kidney disease uh, may cause the uh, hypertension and uh, it is easily by diet and exercise if we felt we use drugs now we will talk about other disease of the circulatory system it is atherosclerosis uh, if a diet high in cholesterol can result in the deposit of fatty material in the wall of the artery the diameter narrows which increase pressure and decrease flow if the artery is blocked completely it can cause heart attack or stroke can be improved by decreasing fat and cholesterol in the diet and with exercise blockage of coronary arteries the coronary arteries are arteries that supply heart muscle the heart uh, pump the blood for all the body but there is arteries supplying the heart itself and these are 
called coronary arteries lead to if the if it's blocked this lead to the death of the cardiac muscle uh, in a case of heart attack if the blockage of the arteries in the head lead to a stroke the death of nervous tissue in the brain 